and be tall. Okay, now we have to make the steps a little bit slower and make sure that you stay on the track that you want to stay on as opposed to the rail. She even had to go look over the top of it. So come up this way a little bit further. And now bring it a little slower still. And then to walk. Walk. And don't go out the gate. Keep returning, keep returning, keep returning. So even right there, what you saw, keep walking away from the rail. As she was coming around here, I felt like she was starting to get something. She was leaning a little bit, she, but she was also kind of chilling, and her rhythm was good, and she was wondering what she was supposed to be doing next. Keep her in here. Now, I want you to do the same thing we did with the trot and the walk. It's a big, beautiful walk you got, and now I want shorter steps. Smaller steps. Smaller. And keep looking where you want her to go. Don't start her head. Just keep looking where you want her to go. A little bit to the right. Good. Keep the steps small. Good. Now look how she's chewing again. Questioning smaller steps. Smaller. So you don't want to let your hips go with that great big walk. You want to still your body so that the steps get smaller. And smaller. You can close your fingers a little at the same time. Smaller half steps. Half. Half. Good. Now she's really chewing in question. That's how I would walk in that horse. Rather than let her do the big ambling walk. Because now you're really starting to ask her to rebalance herself. And a halt. Because she's asking to rebalance herself and she's trying to, the only thing getting in her way 